In this tutorial, I will be covering a useful method to override in your activity, and that is on back pressed. Start by going to the main activity.java uh, file in Android Studio. Um, you want to go outside of on create. Now you're going to want to press Control O. That way you can see the different methods to override and implement. Uh, then you can, if you start typing on back pressed, you can see that there's an option here and it's a void function. You want to double tap and now it, uh, you should be able to see the um, function that's been overridden. By calling super the on back pressed over here in our overridden uh, method, what we're doing is performing the function from the parent class. So um, right now what this code will do is when we go to the Android emulator or we go to our Android device and click the back button, it's going to exit the app or it's going to perform the normal function that the back button does. But if we were to comment that out, when you run this code, you'll see that after pressing the back button, it does not leave your app. And now I'll demonstrate this by running it on the Android emulator, the virtual device. If you do not know how to set up a virtual device, I recommend that you check out my tutorial on that. It's a sh another short bit segment and I'll provide the link for that tutorial. But now I can open up the Android emulator and you can see when I press the back button, nothing happens. And that's because we've commented out the code to the parent on back pressed where it's supposed to actually leave the app. The usefulness of this is let's say you're, you don't want your user to be able to exit the app pressing on back pressed. Maybe you're designing an app where it's very easy to accidentally press the button and exit. So you want them to be maybe tap twice before leaving the app. Now what we can do in order to implement that feature is just create a counter variable and set it equal to zero. And each time the on back pressed is called, which basically means that they press the back key, then we're going to increase the counter variable. And now counter equals two, um, then we're going to uh, call super dot on back press. That way it, it acts as if the back button were pressed. And now if I run this, we should be able to see the changes. As can now be observed when I press the back key twice, it exits the app. If I press the button once, you can see that it did nothing. But when I press it again, it exits. That's all for this tutorial. Make sure to share the channel with friends as my goal is to reach a thousand subscribers. Until then, happy developing from IJ Apps.